Well, hello everybody. Welcome back once again to JJ's PC Builds. This is JJ with you once again. And also, too, this is your first time here. Make sure you subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, well then, welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Builds. And my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for sure. For watching the videos and helping support the channel, you know how it works. So let's dive in and get my thoughts about what's going on for today. Okay, the video that I'm making the video late because I got in late, but I'm still going to make the video and get it out to you as soon as I can. But my thoughts today are this. The launching of the 7800 XT from AMD and the 7700 XT from AMD. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take and dive in and we're going to see what the 7700 X 7800 and 7700 XT are all about. And what we're going to do is we'll look at the 70 the specs for the 7800 XT compared to the 6800 XT and in my books you know looking at the factor of you know, it's kind of a gray area with these it, for the simple fact. You can't compare the 7800 to a 4070 Ti. Well, you can, but you can't because of the price. Everybody says because of the price, because of the price. Well, you know what? You really can't, and you really can't compare the 7800 XT to the 4070 is because... The 7800 XT has a 256-bit bus, but the 4070 has a 192-bit bus. So if you're trying to compare apples to oranges, you're really not going to get a good comparison when you use, when you try to compare it to, guess what, right here. The 40, let me move my cup for you. Oh, make sure you get your drink and snacks with you too. I do. You cannot compare. You cannot compare the 7800 XT to the 40, RTX 4070 because this one's running at 192 bit. I know the price the price difference is a little high, but but you know it comes to the fact of the price might be high. Okay, you got to look at this point. The price might be higher, 600 bucks on this and 500 bucks on the 7800 XT, but. And you're trying to say that raw horsepower performance-wise, the 7800 XT is better than the RTX 4070. That's which is true. Now, when it comes to the RT cores, light RT cores, yeah, 7800 XT will be better. But the 4070 will be much more better and price to performance with heavy raster with heavy RT core, you can get with the 4070. DLSS 3, you can get with the 4070. Okay. Performance wise, if you were to implement all the performance that the 7800 XT has compared to the RTX 4070. The RTX 4070 is going to blow that card out of the water by a large margin. So let's go ahead and dive in and just get it all going on. We're going to the action screen right here. So we're going to go ahead and just open up and get DuckDuckGo for you. So here we go. We got DuckDuckGo for you. Okay, so now we, we're going to look at the 7800 XT specs. And, you know, I'm going to take you all along with me with this. And we're going to pull it up. First, we're going to go to uh, AMD and see what specs they're going to give us here for AMD. Except, except. And see what what they're what they're gonna be, you know, at fourteen forty p. I guess. So this is what they're expecting 
With the 7800 XT, the average FPS at 1440p max is 127 FPS on Call of Duty, 87 FPS on Kalisto Protocol. No, I don't want to do a survey because they don't look at my, my YouTube channel. Why would I do a survey? Oh, my God. 89 FPS at Dying Light 2. And they're saying with RT, they're saying with RT Extreme on Forenza Horizon 5, the Extreme RT, Hogwarts Legacy, that looks like it's just basically the card itself. Last of Us Part 1, there's nothing enabled there. Resident Evil 4, they say the art ray tracing's high, 101 FPS. Marvel Spider-Man. Miles Morals RT, very high, 98 FPS. Star Wars Jedi Survivors, 77 FPS. And Overwatch 2, 251 FPS. Now, this is the technologies that they're using. They are using Fidelity FX Super Resolution, uh, I guess the AMD link and uh, the adrenaline software. Okay, now we're going to look at the compute units. 60 compute units. Ray accelerators is 60. Peak texture fill rate is up to 583 GTs. That's gigatextiles. 96 ROPs. Transistor count is 28.1 billion. Okay. The boost frequency will go up to 2430 megahertz. Okay. The AI accelerators, that's something that they, that's different. They put AI accelerators. Now, we'll have to look into that more. We'll do another video to find out what AMD means by their AI accelerators. What in-depth detail about it? We'll have to look better into that. Peak half precision. Oh, let me roll this up a little bit more for you guys to see it. Peak half uh, precision compute performance. 74 T flops. It has 38, 3,840 streaming processors. Okay, the, you know, single precision compute performance is 37, texture units 240. Now, requirements you're going to need is a minimal PSU of 700 watts. So the typical board power is 263 watts. GPU memory, it's uh, got... AMD Infinity Cache Technology, 64 megs. It has memory speed up to 19.5 gigabits per second. It has a max memory of a, it has VRAM memory, 16 gigs. GDR6, memory interface, 256. That's the bus. Now, memory the memory bandwidth goes up to 624. Effective memory bandwidth up to 2,708 gigabits. Okay. Supports 4K. Supports 265 and HEVC. AV1 encoding it supports. 4K H.264 it supports. H.265 HVEC encoding and supports 4k h264 encode and av1 decode it supports display port 2.1 for the connectivity hdmi is 2.1 the dimension is 267 millimeters in length and it's 2.5 slots for that card so that means it's two and a half slots for the card this gives you all what it supports, and it will support Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 10, uh, Ubuntu, and Linux, and 
you know, it's got two eight pin power connectors. So that's pretty much what's on the 7800 XT. So looking at, but they don't really, they're not really to me specifying what technology they specify the technologies here. Okay. Now the thing is, is this all AMD cards come with the, the adrenaline software. You can get that and download that at any time. They all come with noise suppression. They all come with smart, a smart access memory. They all come with Radeon Boost. They all come with enhanced te sync technology. They all come with virtual super resolution, you know, and AMD Fidelity FX super resolution. As far as I've seen that they probably do or probably don't. So the FRTC, pretty much smart access video and anti-lag and free sync, that all comes with it. Um, AMD Link comes with it. Radeon Super Resolution, that pretty much comes with it. Privacy View, I've noticed that some do and some don't. Image Sharpening does, and Chill comes with it. So basically, that's about almost this, that, that's close to the same stuff. If they're telling me that's all the technologies you got, well, where's FSR 3? Where's FSR 2? I mean, you're telling me it just has FSR? I mean, it doesn't tell you if it's FSR 2 or 3. I mean, it just says it's got FSR. <coughs> so, uh, these are the little details that everybody doesn't seem to cover. But I covered it, so that way you all can see I covered it. Now, we got a good idea what the 7800 XT has on hand. Now, let's go backwards, and let's go and go to Tech Power Up. Okay, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this like, I'm going to stretch it so that way you all can see it a little bit. And I'm going to get my big head out of the way a little bit. There. I'm going to make myself really tiny for you all. So I got my big head out of the way. Okay. So now we got one for the 7800 XT. Let's move this over here. And let's, let's look for the... RX 7700 XT specs. Okay, let's pull that up. Okay, now this is where they're telling me that, you know, it looks the same. They both are Navi 32. They both got over 3,000 cores. One is 3840 and one's 3456. TMUs, one's got 240, one's got 216. They both got 96 ROPs. One's got 16 gigabits, one's got, or gigabytes, and one's got 12 gigabytes of VRAM. They both are GDR6, but one's got 256 bit bus and the other one's got 192. Now, let me minimize that. This right here has a 192-bit bus. Now, let me open this up for a moment. Now, let me do this. Let me do the RTX 4070, and let me go to the specs. And we are going to go right here to Tech Power. Okay, so now... You look at the 7700 and you look at the 4070. They're, they're, the, there's a little bit of a difference. One's got 5,888 cores and the other one's got 3456. 
One's got 184 TMUs, and the other one's got 216. One's got 64 ROPs, and the other one's got 96. They're both 12 gigabytes of VRAM. One has GDR6X, and the other one has GDR6. They're both 192-bit bus. All right. So now that we know this, now we can go down and we can have a little bit more of a peaky look. Okay, so looking at the 4070 and looking at the 7700, okay, so if you're looking right here, they're saying the 7700 is 4% faster than the RTX 4070. This is what they're saying. They're saying that, you know, because the the 7700 XT is 450 bucks and they're saying that the 4070 is 600 bucks okay so you're telling me that the RX 7700 XT is 4% faster than the 4070 i tend not to believe that I'm sorry to say this. I tend not to believe that. For the simple fact is, I know the speed on the 4070. Okay. When you show stock speed, okay, you can show stock speed of anything. But that, com that comes back to the fact of right here. That comes back to the fact of right here. That, you know, what's different? This has got more TMUs. Okay, let's let's get to the basics of this. Okay, production production unknown. It's PCIe 4.0 x16. Okay, let's see. Let let's dig deeper. Let's go deeper with this. Okay, now look at the base clocks. The 4070 has a 1920 megahertz base clock. Which is actually, that's not true. It's a uh, 20, what was it, 2450? Let me have a peek. It is 2520. That's base clock. Not even using the graphics. So this right here, this is underrated. This right here is underrated. So... Looking at this compared to this, you would you would think to yourself that the 4070 would be a lot faster than, you know, the 7700 XT. I mean, look at the bandwidth. I mean, the bandwidth alone is way different than each other. They both have different, you know, different everything. You know, the shading units are definitely different. The only thing that seems to be more on AMD side is the TMUs. But, you know, I mean, kind of kind of look at it, you know. I mean, what are they what are they really giving? You got tensor cores, 184. This has got RT cores at 54. Compute units at 54. SM units at 46. RT cores at 46. You know, you say to yourself, well, hell, that looks like it's definitely going to be a lot higher. You know, I mean, do your math. I mean, looking at that, right here, right here, is this going to be higher than the 4070 or not? Me, in a sense, I don't think so because I see the disadvantages and the advantages between the 4070 and, and the 7700. You know, I see the advantages and disadvantages. You know, they both got their advantages and disadvantages. Okay. So, my opinion. Oh. Sorry about that. 
my opinion, 7700 XT is a good match for the RTX 4070. Now, the 7800 XT is more or less a match with, um, I would say, in between the 4070 and the 4070 Ti. So, it's kind of a mixed bag there. But they're trying to compare the, the 7800 XT to the 4070. I really don't see the advantages... You know the advantage point, except for except for the the amount that you know pushing it at stock. That's a different story. But when you push the RT cores hard on the forty seventy, and you pushed the DLSS three hard on the forty seventy, and you push it to its limits, I guarantee spot for spot. The 4070 is going to take out the 7800 XT. But when FSR3 comes out and they tie it, they tie it to the 7800 XT, that might be a whole different ball of wax then. It might be just the opposite. You don't know. This is what everybody's waiting to see. That's the reason why I'm not, you know, I'm not moving forward in. You know, getting the 7800 XT, okay, because for the simple fact, I want to see if they're going to implement FSR 3. It's been talked about since last year. It was supposed to be earlier in the beginning of this year. They were supposed to bring out FSR 3. Now, NVIDIA brought out DLSS 3.5. So... I don't see too many people talking about DLSS 3.5. Might be worth to have a look at, just to say. But also, too, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count out the 7800 XT or the 7700 XT. Okay, I have seen a couple reviews on them. Believe it or not, I've seen a couple reviews, and, you know, it looks promising. It really does. But also, too, so does the 6950 XT. That'll take both of these cards out at the same time. Well, one by one, y'all know what I mean. But I mean, but looking at it, I still think, you know, no matter what GPU you get. Okay, let me go ahead and close this up. We're done with this right here. No matter what GPU you get, okay, you're always going to have what you want when it comes to gaming. Okay, if you get an older model to a newer model, you know, if you get a 30 series to a 40 series on NVIDIA, you're always going to get what you want. And from the 6,000 series to the 7,000 series on AMD, you're always going to get what you want. So, except, you know, you have to look at the between the older cards and the newer cards, and you have to make that one decision, that one-point decision. Do I want to go to the next highest level, or am I going to wait? I've been hearing a lot of everybody saying, oh, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. I don't think it's worth getting them right now. I'm going to wait. You know, what happens if you can't get them and you waited? See, that's the problem I had. I waited and I waited and I saved. And then when I went to go wanting to get my, the card I want, not available. Couldn't purchase it. And then after I purchased the 4070, you know, a week later, guess what? It come back, back out. So I was like, 4070 and me, you know, we're going to have a long haul. So that's, that's the starter card of it all for this channel. You know, other than the integrated graphics from AMD, you know, I started, you know, 
I started off this channel with the integrated graphics from AMD. You know, I stepped it up to the RTX 4070. Now I'm looking to, you know, test another GPU. So I'm kind of picking and choosing the GPUs I want to test. Not unless something gets sent to me. If they send me something, then, you know, we'll go from there. Until then, we're just going to have to wait. Wait a little bit. I have to save up again. I have to get me, you know, another graphics card. So that way we can go testing with that. But my opinion, my final, final conclusion to this whole thing, I gave you my overview to what I thought, and I'm giving you my finale to what I think on the 78 and the 77. Uh, the RX 78 and 77. If you're looking for a graphics card and you're looking to buy right now and you don't want to wait till later, I, truthfully, I would consider the 7800 XT. I would consider it. Doesn't mean I would buy it. But if you got that budget that where you can spend $1,500 or less, then you might want to look and going up to, you know, a higher, higher grade card. Like your, if you can afford the 7,900 XTX, I would go that route. If you can afford the 4090 from NVIDIA side, I would go that route. If you got that kind of money to play with, to where you can get that kind of graphics card, then yeah, I would go in that direction. But if you don't, and you're looking for something low budget, you know, I mean, the lowest budget you can get right now is $200. Something that's decent, that's going to get you into gaming, is going to cost you about 200 bucks. And everybody always goes down and says the 6600, the RX 6600. They always say that. They are right. I mean, if you're looking for, you know, a low budget graphics card, you know, then you can go that route. Or if you just want to save your money a little bit and move yourself up into the world, but you don't want NVIDIA and you want AMD, you then save your money up and get yourself the 7800 XT. Mid-level graphics card, good on gaming. AV1 encoding, everything you need. We went through the specs on it, so like I told you, it's your choice if you want to buy right now. If you don't, then don't. If you want to save and you want to wait till the 8000 series or greater, that's up to you. Then save up your money so that way when the 8000 series comes out, then you can just snag up on it. Or if you're impatient and you can't wait and you just want a graphics card now, then get yourself the 7800 XT. I'm not promoting it. Right now, I'm not promoting it because I don't have it in front of me to test for me to recommend it, really give you a solid recommendation to it. I can give you a suggestive recommendation to it, but I can't give you a solid recommendation to it. I can give you a suggestive. From what I've seen from other people and the luck they're having with it, but, you know, you take the good with the bad. So if you're looking for that kind of card, then go ahead and get it. Comes with Starfield. I mean, that's another bonus. Think about it. It's another bonus for you. Not unless it's on a limited uh, 30 days, then that's a different story. Then you're not really getting a bonus. I mean, unless it's permanent, you know, if it's a permanent with the game, then I can understand that. But, you know, if it's not, then it's kind of 30 day kind of thing. You get to play Starfield for 30 days. You know, that's kind of bogus. They should make it a permanent thing, especially if you're going to spend that kind of money. Just my opinion. So if you guys think that way too, make sure you leave your comments below. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. 
And if you've already subscribed, welcome to the family. Welcome to JD's VC Builds. And also to my veteran subscribers, much love to you as always. Make sure you put a positive like on the video. So this way tells YouTube to put my videos out there so everybody can see it. So we get more subscribers, get more people to join the family. This is a community. It is a great community. It's a family community. I don't say it is just as a community. I say as a family community. We're all a family here. Let's all support each other. Let's all just get down to it and have fun and have a good time and just enjoy it right here at JJ's PC Belts. But until the next time and the next time and the next video. And don't, and one thing. One thing, I'm going to state this, okay? I'm only going to state this again, that everything that I do on my channel for you all to see the videos is uncut, unedited, just as it is. So right now, all I do is I add a little bit of subscribe pop-ups right there and something at the end. I don't, I'm not editing this video. You get it raw and as it is, and this is the way it's coming out. So if I make any screw ups on the video, if I make any screw ups that, you know, you guys notice, well then, you know, we're only human. I'm going to tell you that we're only human. We make mistakes just like the next person. So don't be judgmental because we all make mistakes. If I make a mistake, you're all going to see it. I'm not hiding anything. I don't hide my mistakes. I don't hide nothing. So if you see it and, you know, you're like, oh, you don't know what he's talking about. This, blah, blah, blah. You know, do me a favor. Kind of think back into your past and think about how many mistakes you've made to make yourself more successful. We all do it. It's part of life. So anyway, until the next time and the next video, this is JJ and JJ's PC Builds. We will, and yeah, we will see you on the next one.